they don't look a day over, say, 150 million years. They're creatures that lived in our zip codes when life was a bit slower paced. Big, tall, ugly, <laughs> and scary. They've been trucked in from Portland and will do their dinosaur deeds later this month. Here's how they looked and sounded last year. Half life-size, but to a pint-sized kid, it's bigger than life. Donating the services of his crane company, Jim McMurrin, wearing his pith helmet, he has the dinosaurs strapped in place. You wouldn't want them running loose in Balboa Park. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little unruly, yes. A hole had to be cut in the building to get these guys inside. Hard work and a new variation of a TV commercial, they really moved the tail for you. No one knows for sure why these creatures disappeared from our world, but they're back artificially healthy and happy. They never had much of a brain when they lived. It's computerized now. I wonder if they're embarrassed having their rear ends removed. The walking, talking creatures are made in San Juan Capistrano. Can you imagine a swallow returning and seeing this? It's tall and it's real weird and neat. It cost $30,000 to bring in the exhibit, but admissions are expected to at least double. Just when you thought it was safe to go inside the museum again, along comes Dinosaur 2. I think it's weird and scary. Okay.